Third. Hey, what's up? So we're going to go over a pretty common issue with installing chipless firmware. So let's say you did all your research and you found your printer that you wanted to use for sublimation. You went on YouTube and found a very helpful video on installing chipless firmware. So you go to inkchip.net and download the firmware of your model and the activation program. You follow all of the instructions, but when you get to the point where you install and transfer the firmware, you don't see the printer connected via USB. So you try another cable and still no luck. You get frustrated and you want to throw the whole thing away. So this video is for you. We're going to go over some steps to get you up and running. First, we want to go into our printers and scanners and then delete all instances of the printer that we're trying to update. We're going to go back to Epson.com and download the printer driver from the driver submenu. We do not want to use the combo package installer. This seems to be where the issue lies. We'll open up the driver and, and let it run. And when it acts to configure it for USB or network, we're going to select USB and let it finish up. Once it's done, we can head back to the inkchip.net folder and run the chipless firmware install. This time you should see the printer available and connected via USB and network if you set up the Wi-Fi on the printer. Uncheck network and click start to continue installing the chipless firmware. The printer will restart on its own and the progress bar will stop at 99% and fail. Don't worry, it's designed to do that. We'll open up the activation program and you'll enter your activation key that you got from inkchip.net in the email. Or you'll paste in your recovery code if this is a reinstall. Once the key has been written, you power down the printer with the power button, then turn it back on. Congrats, you're now printing with chipless firmware install. Thanks for checking out the video. Like and subscribe.